In this episode, I share with you some garage door security tips. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. Really appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode. Before we dive into this episode's content, if you can go ahead and follow me on social media, all of my links are in the description below. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out. Hey, and I really appreciate everyone watching on Rumble. I really appreciate the rumbles that you give me and the likes. Uh, I really uh, love the fact that you love the value that I provide in this weekly show. Now, I wanna share with you some garage door security tips. And actually, this old house had a really great article. I'm gonna link that below in the description as well. They had some garage door security tips and I wanna share with you uh, these right now because what we know, or what I know is that the garage door is typically the weakest entry point of a home. Now granted, some homes, right, if they have uh, you know, weak window, old windows that you can just smash, I get it, okay? But uh, burglars, historically, statistically, I guess, are not looking for uh, a lot of noise to be made. So here's some tips that you can do to increase your garage door security. So number one, is remove the temptations. Uh, you know, if you have expensive mountain bikes and you know expensive lawn equipment just right close to the door, and you and you leave your garage door open all day, uh, you know somebody could see that and be like, oh, they. And literally, there have been cases where people have walked by and just grabbed the first item, right? They grab a bike and they're they're you know halfway across the street before you even realize it, or maybe you don't even realize it. So avoiding temptations to begin with is key. Uh, especially if you have kids that have you know expensive scooters, um, mopeds, whatever the case may be, right? Toys, things like that. Try to put that stuff further into your garage. And what I like to do with my own garage is I like to keep it closed when I'm not able to keep an eye on things. I don't leave my garage door open all day. Uh, I think, you, you know, you wanna have control over your space. And so just close the door, okay? Um, now, Another way to remove temptations is if you have windows uh, or op you know openings in your garage, you wanna make sure that you put curtains or blinds, okay? Make sure that people can't just walk by, that a burglar can't just walk by and just peek in and see that you have really nice items in your garage. That's gonna, okay, remove the temptations um, to help avoid somebody trying to steal something. Number two, add deterrence. Deterrence are great. This could be a home security system, uh, you know, cameras, obvious. Don't don't go with hidden cameras, right? We want people to know, we want burglars to know that there's a camera there. And whether it's recording or not, it's irrelevant. Although I recommend that you have them record and save, not just, you know, record for like a day. But get a good system where the camera is obvious you want deterrence uh lighting at night lighting is the number one most effective security um tip that police officers recommend is and home security experts recommend is having lights so you don't have to have huge lights around your house but have enough to where somebody can't just hide in the shadows and then you know take take their time entering your garage door and by the way keep Keep in mind that, you know, garages, if you have a service door, right, the door that goes out to the backyard or the side of your house, um, make sure that you use longer screws when you actually put, put in where you put in the deadbolt, the plate, okay? Do longer screws so that it's harder for the burglar to kick in the door. Keep an eye on that service door and put a light there too. Mainly a floodlight around doors and things like that, especially in the front, okay? Um, motion sensors are key. If you don't want to have lights on all the time, then you can do motion sensors where they go on when somebody walks by, highly effective. And then the last tip that they shared, uh, step three is install effective garage door security locks. When you go out of town, let's say, okay, most garage doors have a sliding bar that's inside and you just slide it into the track that makes it almost impossible to just open up that door. 
So you can do that if you're going out of town. It involves you going in through another way of your home, going in the garage, doing that, and then you pull away. But that's a huge tip, and most garage doors already have that. It's pretty standard. Um, if you have a garage door handle where you open up your door manually, put a lock on that. I think most of them come with a lock, but put a lock on that. Highly effective. Um, and then you can mount hardware inside of your garage for locking the garage door itself. Um, there's a bar you slide into the locking position to secure the door. So there's all kinds of things. And I, I, they even shared a crazy story where somebody, um, like if you're familiar with the rope that hangs down by the garage door opener, when your door is closed, there's a, there's a rope and a little handle to release the door in case the power goes out. You can actually just pull that down and then it will release it from the track and then you can just manually pull up the door although it's pretty hard but um there's ways where i guess burglars are can use hangers and bars and stuff to go outside above your garage door and in there in that gap and just pull that um that's a stretch and in my neighborhood somebody would see that before they even got that far um but just know that there are security um products that would actually stop that so i hope you guys found this episode value i invite you to visit my website allaboutthereelestate.com subscribe to this show where you where you can actually get the show in your email once a week otherwise i'm jason jellius michigan realtor and i appreciate you watching thanks everyone for watching this episode of the ask jason jellius show be sure to visit the links in the description below to pick up your copy of my real estate book Think Like a Realtor. It's a little book about buying and selling residential real estate through the eyes of a realtor. It's real world advice, tips, uh, whether you're a new agent in the business or you are a home buyer or even looking to sell a home, this is great advice. So I really appreciate it. If you guys visit those links, pick up your copy uh, and go ahead and share a review, uh, good or bad, if you like it, if you hate it, okay? But get your copy today. Thank you.